Uh, okay, let's start the event. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, water in conjecture. Consider keeping some. Uh, ah, it's there. Oh, hang on. I think my game is really low. All right. Well, good thing it finished things around here because I didn't know the event would start here I could have accidentally started it hmm that can't be right oh, but what if they're real after all no that can't be mm, but what if there's a chance greetings miss is there something that's bothering you well, we know her. Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm Della Roche, the representative of the Fontaine Fishing Association. How can I help you? We received your commission request, we did. I did oh, so you're adventurers. Oh, finally, someone has heard my prayers. Paimon can tell you were really bothered by something. Don't worry, you've got two super experienced adventurers right here. We'll take care of anything and everything for you as long as you pay us a little bit of mora. Oh, you are exactly the helpers I need. See, the problem is that the fish around a fishing spot at Arrhenius have just all up and vanished recently. They disappeared too quickly for it to have been the work of human anglers. As the representative of the fishing association, I had planned to go and investigate the area right away. But... <clears throat> Right, but unfortunately, as the representative of the fishing association, there are a few other errands that I absolutely have to run, so... So, you'd like us to investigate the spot for you? Exactly, you're right on the mora. So, I thought I could delegate this work to you. Are you two some kind of prophets, knowing exactly what I was going to say like that? Or maybe like the oracles you read about in fairy tales. No, we already told you that we are adventurers. Yeah, we're just really experienced in this kind of thing, that's all. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. I'll get a good night's sleep knowing the two of you are on the case. But don't we just need to investigate the missing fish? It really doesn't sound too... Difficult? We don't know anything about fish. No, you mustn't let your guard down. As the representative of the fishing association, I have good reason to believe that the fish have gone missing due to an encounter with the water imps. Water imps? Yes, you're both outlanders, right? Our local fairy tales often speak of a terrifying underwater creature called Velxi. The story our parents would tell us was always the same. If we went to the water alone, then we'd be snatched away and eaten by a water imp called Thuxy. A child eating water imp? Did they tell you what it looked like? My father would always describe it as a beautiful, multicolored snake woman, while my mother said it had a handsome face. It's really strange, though, because you'd also hear other people describe it as just a chubby penguin with a deceptive appearance. Even though the tales vary regarding its appearance, everyone agrees that it's really dangerous. It lives in an underwater cave surrounded by pallid bones and uses its sensitive nose to track down lonely children who've lost their way. And once it finds a child, it uses its alluring singing voice to lure them into the water before swallowing them all. Pretty terrifying, isn't it? Uh, sounds kind of scary. But isn't that pretty normal for a fairy tale? After all, those kinds of stories are usually made up to help keep children away from danger. But what if the fairy tale was inspired by a real-life tale? Just like how a water vein always has a source. What is... Do you have any concrete evidence? Well, I wouldn't call it evidence, per se, but I've heard some rumors lately. They say that someone recently saw a child walk into the water as if he was possessed by something. Doesn't that sound just like he was responding to the call of a water imp? 
So you mean someone really got eaten by a water imp? It's all hearsay, so it's hard to confirm. But still, they all say this happened on Irenaeus. That's no laughing matter if you ask me. Both the Opera House and the Fountain of Lucene were built there, and the sources of many water veins can be traced to the island as well. Combine that with the mysterious mist, the huge tree with expansive underground roots, and the rumor that the bishops on the island can understand human language. They're bishops. Is though. it really so shocking that an island so shrouded in mystery could harbor a terrifying water imp as well? Shouldn't call the police. Uh like you're pulling our leg. You're just piling on the rumors now. Oh, still, if someone's really been hurt, then we can't just ignore the situation, right, Traveler? We'll go check it out. Oh, marvelous. Then I'll just mark the stretch of water on your map. Don't forget that no matter what, safety always comes first. Do you have anything about it? Nope. Just continue there. I think got everything here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that'll be the new area. I haven't gone through the center yet. Mm. should be here. Cool brings extend all the way into the water. These look pretty fresh. Oh, did the water imp get someone again? Let's look around and see if we can find anything else. Oh, wait, did you hear something just now? Gurgling noises can be heard coming from the water. The noise grows louder and louder until something emerges with a loud splash. Hmm. Ah! What is that? Don't come any closer! Paimon? Traveler? Oh, yeah, we never saw him with the helmet actually. I'm, not. I, I'm sorry. I forgot I was still wearing this. Fermine removes his diving helmet. F hmm. Just no t in the end. Paimon, are you okay? <sighs> Paimon nearly mistook you for a water imp. Thank goodness it was just you wearing your helmet. Huh? A water imp? We're investigating a water imp called Thelxy. Thelxy, you say? Mm. How surprising. Huh? Don't you know that name too? Surprised. Or do you know someone else is trying to investigate the water imp? No. I think our situations are probably unrelated. Then could you tell us about what's going on your own with you? Sure, if that's in order. No. I know the name because of one of my employers. She noticed the clockwork penguins I brought to the workshop and contacted me through the shop's owner. She has commissioned me to make a special toy. Following her request, I've named the toy Thelxy. Huh? But isn't it a little creepy to name a toy after a water imp? Uh, wait, hold on! Fremina, you never take commissions from other people! Yeah, but, uh... She made a special request, but out of respect for her privacy, I can't really talk about it. It's alright though, she'll be coming over to check on my progress shortly, and I'll just tell her that you're two of my trustworthy companions, 
hearing that, she might be willing to share some information, and you'll be able to continue with your investigation. Huh. Even though you seem a little cold and reserved sometimes, you're still really considerate. Our target isn't necessarily the water imp, though. We're primarily here to investigate the disappearance of the fish! The fish? Remnant not slightly, and then lost in thought after telling him about the commission from the Fishing Association. Suddenly, his breath catches in his throat. Ah, I think I may have connected the dots. These past few weeks, I've been taking Thelxy for underwater testing every day. The pressure testing makes a lot of noise. So, all that about the disappearing fish? Well, it was probably because of me. Just framing them preparing for another day of work? Yes, I think that's quite likely as well. Whew! So in the end, it was just Framine! Paimon spent all this time imagining what a water imp from the fairy tales might look like, and it all turns out to be just a hoax! I'm sorry. It sounds like I've created a lot of trouble for everyone else as well. I'll try to finish this commission as soon as possible. Once I'm done, the fish should come back. Uh, don't worry about it. It was just a misunderstanding. Yeah, I'd be happy to help. Is there anything we can do? Ah, uh, thanks for offering. But I can't trouble you any more than I already have. Hey, it's no trouble at all! Didn't you just call us your trustworthy companions? Companions are all about helping each other, you know? But... Don't you need to report back to your commissioner? Nope, that's not how it works. See, Paimon's got these commissioner types all figured out, even <laughs> though we were just tasked with finding out why the fish had gone missing. If we tell them now that it was all just a misunderstanding, you can bet they'd just immediately hand us another commission to help them get the fish back. Yeah, we're just really experiencing this kind of thing, that's all. Exactly! So if we can help you finish up your work and get the fish back, that would save us an extra trip! Um, is that what you'd like to do as well? Yeah, I think Pam was right. Huh. All right, I'll trust your judgment. Please follow me. I've made a makeshift camp over there. Hang on, let me just double check something with the audio here. We'll check something the I've stored Thelxy in the tent. <laughs> he can respond to some simple verbal commands. You can try calling his name and see if he'll come over. Whoa, sounds pretty advanced. Let Paimon give it a try. Hey, Thelxy, uh, are you there? Do you a favor and take him off. Malazines like to play pranks sometimes. Is that Morse code? I don't know Morse code. So that's from an ace version of Thelxy. It's also penguin shaped, just like Pear. Yep. Had Thelxy lived in Penguin Town, he'd probably have become great friends with Pear. Who's Pear? Where's Penguin Town? Uh, it's not really anywhere famous or important. Don't worry about it. Hey, Thelxy. Nice to meet you. Do you know how to say hello? So, can talk. Um, hang on. Let me just open my 
school go here? There's no dash dot dot. Mm. Maybe that looks like, but isn't really. Morse code. Yeah, I don't think there is Morse code then. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I can find a dash dot dot. So can tell us talk. I wanted to install a language output module, but due to time constraints, I had to give up on the idea. As it stands, Delxy can only output messages that were pre-written into its motherboard. I haven't given him the ability to convert those messages into discernible words, so he can't really talk to us just yet. So basically, you want us to help you complete and install this language module, right? Uh, no, there's no need. That wasn't one of my employer's requests. It was just something I wanted to try. I have two other things I'd like your help with. The first is to do some integration testing on Thelxy's motherboard, to make sure he will be able to function properly in most situations. That doesn't sound too hard. And what's the other thing? The other shouldn't take too long either. You'll need to find Thelxy some colorful shells and coral, so I can craft a weapon for him. A weapon? Will Thelxy have to fight? Mm-hmm. Thelxy will need to be able to charge forward with a weapon in hand, like that brave Prince of Legend. It's a part of my employer's request. What an imaginative employer! Naming Thelxy after a water imp, but wanting him to look like a prince? Well, regardless of his role or species, Thelxy's purpose is the same. Just like Pear, he has come to this world to serve as somebody's companion. He just said something again! Could he understand what we were just talking about? He can react to certain key words, but unfortunately, due to the lack of a translation module, he still can't quite communicate with us. That's a pity. But anyway, the most important thing right now is for us to get to work. Maybe let's start by doing some testing on the... motherboard. That sounds like something we can do here in the camp. Sounds good. The motherboard is on my workbench, so please follow me. Ah, here we go. I have this testing manual, so feel free to reference it if you get stuck. Want to give it a try? It's okay if you don't succeed immediately. I've got a lot of backup boards just in case. I'll give it a try. Okay. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. Just connect pipes. Uh, I have to. Please give the testing a try. The motherboard's on the table there. Mm-hmm. What about the streams? Ah, Telx development log. Attempted to install a language output module uh, for Telxim. The output signal will use a similar cipher to the one once used by the House of Heart. Uh, the benefits are twofold. Not only does the warehouse at the House of Heart already have many spare old motherboards, this approach will also make the language module compatible with the Diving Helmet's transcription module, allowing for quick and easy transcription and testing. 
as for the offset of the cipher it would just be set to one for convenience two i've hit a snag i have planned to apply for a, a transcription module to use for telxy and it would have been the same one as the one used in the diving helmet but the warehouse is out of stock seems like i I'll have to make one from scratch using the one I have as a reference. I started looking into it, but it's unclear if I'll have enough time. I've already spent more time than planning on the transcription module. The work on Thelx's main body will be affected if I keep this. I'll have to put it on hold. Although the diving helmet can still be used to decipher Telx's output signal, it will probably be unintelligible to everyone else. What a pity. I'm sorry for not being able to give you a voice, Telxy. What's that? Seems to be a dose of medicine left behind by someone. There's a label on the bottom of the container with the word Death Tree written on it. Solar Melanin. Is that for somebody else's quest? Hmm. Huh. Let's keep track. Huh? I have to. Ah, okay. Space. Uh, ah, okay. I once can. Okay. Exit the buggy. They're keeping some pets in my office, but soon gave up on. Huh. <sighs> You're doing well. Just as I expected. We've taken on a lot of similar tasks before, you know. Then let's move on to the underwater part. It's just as I mentioned earlier. We're after colorful shells and coral. Oh, speaking of which, you're both already pretty used to Fontaine's underwater environment, right? We're pretty much experts now. Okay, that's good. Just let me know if you ever feel uncomfortable. I'll make sure to stay right by your side. So shallow. It should be right over there. We'll be able to find something that'll help us with our search. This is it. We call this thing an echoing conch. It can detect special reflection waves in the water to help us with all kinds of underwater exploration and excavation efforts. Here, try it. Did you notice any interesting places? The echoing conch should have detected some just now. Let's go check them out. Oh, no, no. Send me elsewhere. Come on, best fruit. <sighs> All right, these should be enough. Let's head back to camp. Uh, thank you for staying out here with me all this time.
Destry. Oh, so that was her. Okay. Ah, Fremenet, you're back. I thought you might have been out diving. I'm sorry, Madame Destray. I must have kept you waiting. I can report, though, that the construction of Thelxi is going quite smoothly. There's no rush. I'm your employer, not your supervisor. And these two are... Oh, uh, they're two of my trustworthy companions. They're here to help me work on Thelxi. Yes, I see. I suppose it's only natural for someone responsible like you to have some reliable friends. It's really nice to meet you, Madame Distre. Are you Feminine's employer? Paimon is Paimon and this is the Traveler! Greetings, my new friends. Just call me Zoria. You are both so adorable. The sight of you reminds me of little fairies under a cottage roof. Oh, do you really think so? Do I look like a fairy too? Of course. If my child had friends like you, then perhaps he wouldn't have become so obsessed with the tales of water imps. And I wouldn't have had to trouble Fremine here with this commission. Obsessed with the tales of water imps? Ah, oh, so you don't know anything about my request yet? I would have thought Fremine had explained it to you already. Well, Fremine told us that it was a private matter, so he didn't want to just share it willy-nilly. I see. So Monsieur Fremine is even more discreet than I had thought. Hmm. As you are assisting him with the project, I believe it'll be beneficial for you to learn more about its vision and history. But it would be quite impolite of me to simply pile all of my troubles on you without your permission. So, would you like to listen to my story? Sure, you can tell us anything! You've already said nice things about us, so we'll try our best to help you get through your troubles. Ah, what a lovely little fairy. Then let me think of a way to put my situation into words. Hmm. I'm sure you're already familiar with the tale of the water imps, right? Simply put, parents came up with a story, painting water imps as scary abductors in an effort to convince their children to stay away from the water. My child is rather special, however. While most other children are terrified of Thelxi, He's infatuated with him. In... infatuated? With a water imp? What a brave soul. Yes. He told me that he thought the water imp might have just been misunderstood. In his mind, instead of singing to abduct children, the water imp actually sang out of a longing for companionship. As a result, he often goes near the water in secret. So he wanted to become friends with the water imp so it wouldn't be lonely any longer? What a unique way of thinking! <laughs> Thank you, little Paimon. He indeed has always stood out from the crowd. He was actually diagnosed with loneliness syndrome when he was only eight years old. Loneliness syndrome? Mm-hmm. It's a type of mental disorder. Those affected by it often feel extremely lonely and lose interest in many mundane activities. The syndrome is probably what made him so determined to become friends with the water imp. Oh no! Is it a very serious disorder? Mm. If you were to become afflicted with the disorder, Paimon, you would only be able to say less than a fraction of the words you're saying to the Traveler now. to find a doctor to help cure Paimon. Paimon has a 2,000 word quota for daily conversations with the Traveler and she won't settle for a single word less! The family doctor has already begun to treat my son. But since the disorder is rare, there aren't many good regimens for treatment. He's also developed some new symptoms lately. Such as uncontrollable delusions. Huh? Uncontrollable what now? 
uncontrollable delusions. To put it simply, he can no longer differentiate between fantasy and reality, and spends all his time in his fantasy world. Then... then what is he seeing in his fantasy world? It's a dream that he often mentioned to me when he was younger. I've compiled what I could understand of his recent rambling. It goes a bit like this. Once upon a time, there was displayed the magnificent underwater kingdom of water imps on the Salacia Plain, 500 feet beneath the surface. Countless lovely water imps lived in houses made of rainbow, shells, and corals, tending to sea animals during the day and singing between fields of golden titauga during the night. Everyone led carefree and blessed lives until the day of the Eurydice's parade, the important festival during which the new king would be crowned. Before the festival, all water imps would select the most precious pearl they owned, wrap it in golden branches and leaves, and offer it to their most beloved prince. And during the day of the parade, the prince would cross a rainbow bridge made from all the offer shells and accept the crown from his father amid the applause of his subjects. Finally, the new king would bless everyone with his well wishes. And as for the prince's name, it's none other than Telsi. Amazing! Your son came up with all of this? He really crafted a lovely fairy tale world for Thelxi. It's like a beautiful dream. But perhaps no beautiful dream can ever last long. You see, the story ended with a twist. The day of the Eurydice's parade came as expected, but countless monsters also arrived alongside the prince. The monsters were evil and cruel, and they struck fear in all the water imps' hearts. The water imps, adept as singing as they were, could not defend themselves against the monsters. So the kingdom fell, the king was killed, and the water imps were locked behind bars. The rainbow bridge lost its color and crumbled away. The prince was barely able to escape with the help of a mysterious masked individual, but he had already lost everything and could only spend his days singing mournfully, song, singing mournful songs. And just as the prince sang out of loneliness, so could his song be only heard by similar lonely children. How could the story end like this? Is that kind of fantasizing what caused your son to develop his loneliness syndrome? Well, it'd be more accurate to say that it was the syndrome that caused such terrible delusions to manifest. But in any case, the biggest problem is the patient eventually loses themselves to the fantasy world of their own creation. What do you mean? My poor child can no longer differentiate between imagination and reality. He's begun to see himself as Thelxi. Um... Perhaps in his mind, the loneliness he felt became the same as that of a prince who lost everything he ever loved or stood for. What? So that's what you meant by uncontrollable delusions. Then we have to help him snap out of it! Alas, most of the time he acts as if he can no longer sense or interact with the real world at all. I've had several discussions with the doctor. And we think it is best to try to guide his fantasy. Mm, guide his fantasy. He once wanted to make a picture book of his imaginary world. But since the disorder progressed too quickly, he never quite got past the first page of the book. If we could use this book as a breakthrough for his condition. Here, you can take a look. Ah! Hmm. So Zuri's son also saw Thelxi as a penguin. Oh, he looks so sad. What we should do now is help him complete this picture book. 
However, will lead the story to a different ending. One where the Water Imp Prince is eventually able to restore his kingdom with the help of his friends. We'll need to chase away his loneliness and sorrow, and let him perceive a world full of hope again. That's what I mean by guiding his fantasy. But if we just need to finish the picture book, why does Fermine need to make a Thelxi as well? Because we need to treat the book's story seriously, as if it's a history of things that have really happened. We'll need to go on a journey like Thelxi, and help him regain his crown and country. But my child can no longer go on a journey of his own. This is why I commissioned Fremine here to craft a Thelxi, and then I'll paint the journey with this Thelxi into the picture book. Okay, Dad, ah, you could like just go with the your son. picture book. I'm not starting to get it now. Oh, you really put a lot of thought into this, Zuria. Um, Paimon still has one question, though. Where will we be able to find a Water Imp Kingdom? There are some ruins on the seabed of the Salacia Plains. I've already asked Fremine to research them for me. We'll be able to use one of the ruins as the kingdom. Oh, so we'll just need to act out a performance of, uh... Oh, a brave journey through the Kingdom of Water Imps. As long as we chase away the monsters in the ruins, it'll count as chasing away the monsters in the Water Imp Kingdom, right? Sadly, no. We won't just be putting on a performance. It's just as Zuria said. We need to take this seriously. And the only way we can take this seriously is if we choose to believe everything that's happening is real. Uh, so we'll be playing it straight? Or, uh... Making it a fully immersive experience? Oh, neither of those really sound right. Uh, well, either way, we'll still be able to help, right? We got this. It's all right. There's no need to get that serious. It's not a big deal. I believe in my son. We can just see this as him wanting to stay asleep for a bit longer, because he's so enamored with his dream. <sighs> Zuria. Keep your spirits up, everyone. If we were to look troubled, my son is sure to become anxious as well. Hmm. I should be heading back right about now to check on my son. We temporarily moved to a place on the hill over there, so my son will have a better spot to convalesce. It's not far from the water, and there's also a great view. Feel free to come find me if anything urgent comes up. Understood. There's also one last thing. Since these two friends were able to help me out, I've made some more progress on Thelxi. I estimate that he should be ready sometime tomorrow. That's great news. I must thank you all. Hmm. With that in mind, how about we meet here in two days' time to head to the Kingdom of Water Imps? Sounds good. Alright, everyone. Let's meet again in another two days. Zuria sure is a brave and optimistic lady. Fremine, do you think her plan will work out? Uh, let's discuss that over by the tent. There were a few things that I didn't bring up because the madame was here. If we go there, can we see her? Hey, the boy? No, 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 I read that. What is it, Fermine? What did you want to say? <clears throat> um, if you don't mind me asking, I would like the two of you to mentally prepare yourselves. Mentally prepare yourselves for what? Uh, this is the first time that you've met anyone with the syndrome, right? Let me guess you have I it. I know you two are both really strong and will do everything you can to help the child. But with the syndrome being the way it is, if things don't... If things don't quite turn out as we wish, I hope you'll be able to accept the outcome and not put too much blame on yourselves. Fremine, why do you bring this up all of a sudden? Didn't we just promise Zuria that we'll be optimistic about everything working out? It's not that I'm not optimistic. <sighs> It's just... You'll notice know illness really well. Ah, so that's why you look 
it's like you knew exactly what she was talking about. Wait, Fremenay, don't tell Paimon that you also... No, no. Please don't misunderstand. I've never had it. I've just... I've just seen many cases of it at the House of the Hearth, back when we lived under the previous director. They say there are many factors surrounding the development of this illness. I've heard everything from hereditary factors in one state of mind, to environmental factors and even leyline disorder effects. Some even say it could be caused by contamination from god remains. And from the cases I've seen, there weren't many positive outcomes. In the worst cases, the patient could even... pass away. What? It could get that serious? And here Pylon thought they'd just stop talking as much. <sighs> yeah, that's just the nature of it. So, if you'll find it difficult to cope with the worst-case scenario, I would prefer that you back out right now. I don't want you to help only to feel like you failed. Don't worry, I see all kinds of strange and difficult things in life. You got a point? I'll give some thoughts. Don't worry. Yeah, that's right. Paimon's seen all of those things too. No matter how hard it might get, we won't be scared. Really? <sighs> Then in that case, let's see this real-life fantasy adventure together to the end. Yeah! Uh, but Paimon has a question. If this illness can really be as bad as you've described, then do you really think Zuria's method will be able to help? After all, we'll just be using a toy as Delxi and some ruins as the Kingdom of Water Imps. The whole adventure will only be turned into a picture book for her son to read. Well... I think it should be able to do something. To harbor a fantasy means that the child wants to save himself somehow. The only reason he's allowed his dream kingdom to fall is because he's lost control of his heart. But if we can help him regain control and escape from the darkness, we'll be able to change his world. Like helping someone who's lost their voice be able to speak again. Paimon sees what you're saying now. Huh. How do you understand all of this so well, Fremine? Hmm. Well, maybe because I've also had many of my own dreams in the past. I even had my own fairy tale world, much like that boy's. I was able to draw a lot of support from it. So I believe in the power of fantasy worlds. So the Penguin Town you mentioned was. Ah. <sighs> So you remembered. What penguin town? Why does a Paimon remember? Is that also a fairy tale world? Don't leave Paimon in the dark! Suddenly, Fremina pulls out a diving helmet and puts on his head. Hey, why did you put that on? <clears throat> it's just one of my personal quirks. Please pay it no mind. Anyway, Penguin Town is a peaceful place with lots of penguin residents. They're all really good at making clockwork toys. And Pear is the town's triumphant hero, as well as the one who quietly protects the whole place. Pear? But didn't you make Pear yourself? Well... I often think that Pear only came to me because he realized how much I needed him. So it's not so much that I made Pear, as Pear chose me as his friend. Uh, Fremine, are you sure you're not losing control of your fantasies as well? No, I don't think so. I can still differentiate between fantasy and reality. I just believe that the fairy tale world of my dreams must also exist somewhere. It might just be hidden, which is why it's difficult to see. Or it will only reveal itself at very specific times. Specific times? Like when you put on your diving helmet? Yeah. That's the general idea of it. Really? Pyra 
just said that because you put on your helmet. Have you ever observed the surface world from underwater? It's as if you're viewing a whole different world from the outside. It's a very surreal feeling. Both alienating, but also as if you're being protected by something. I have a similar feeling when I put on my diving helmet. In those moments, it's possible to see some truly wondrous things, as if a fairy tale has become reality. It's almost like a sort of miracle. Really? Like a miracle? Now I want to try a helmet too. Well, if that's in order. Yep, that's in order. Hey, now's not the time! Remedy still has Felsi's weapon to make. We don't want to bother him now. Right. I still have to collect some tools I'll need to craft the weapon. I've got to finish everything before tomorrow. Thank you for reminding me, Paimon. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities for you to try my helmet. Thanks for all of your help. I'll be off for now. Let's meet up here again in two days. Oh, there's a bunch of things. Uh, okay, after uh, uh, completing the others. I hope they won't be time gated. Those are chance as well. And, uh, and that's the star. No. Uh, Radiation call. Let's try it. Uh, gotta just continue the story. Wait and shoot to this one. Uh, no time, just two days. Oh, is there already? I can cancel midway. Is your child feeling any better? Thank you for your concern, Fremine. His condition is fairly stable. The family doctor said we might be able to take him out for a stroll today. Zarya, Fremine, we're here! <laughs> Seems like everyone's arrived now. Not quite. Aren't we missing someone? But Paimon has a guess where he might be. Hey, Thalxy! Hmm. Oh, Thalxy's got himself a sword and a shield now. He's looking sharp. Indeed. With his weapons in hand, Thalxy looks more formidable than ever. You've really outdone yourself, Remine. We helped you! Yes, you really had a good eye for materials. Everything you found was high quality. Speaking of which... Zuria just told me that she wants to end the adventure with the coronation ceremony. So... Uh, could I also trouble you with finding some materials for the crown? You can just keep an eye out for them on our way to the ruins. I was planning to collect the materials myself, but then I realized you might be able to find some prettier ones than what I could get my hands on. Consider it done. Seems like everything's ready to go. Shall we head out? Please wait a moment. I was just thinking. Since Thalxy has already shown us his brand new appearance, we may already be able to draw a new page in the picture book. What do you think? We could take pictures. Ooh, Paimon's excited!
excited now. Why should we draw on the page? Hmm. Why don't we use the story we know as a reference? Just make the atmosphere a bit less grim. So we'll take out the sad parts and replace them with happier stuff? Sounds great to Paimon! All right, I'll give it a try. I'm not very adept at drawing, but I've seen a lot of art during my work. Now, as far as the actual content of the drawing, please tell me what you'd like to see. Let me think. We can draw the weapon. The prince has picked up the Sword of Courage and the Shield of Perseverance, which proves he has crossed the mire of doubt, and now is ready to wage war against the darkness. Okay, I'll add the weapons. Anything else? Paimo wants to give him some friends! foxy has got some friends by his side now, so he's no longer fighting alone! Okay, I'll also draw some companions. Anything else? Don't forget you had some color. Color. Ah, oh, color, yes! That's really important. The road in front of him now will no longer be just grayscale, but bursting with color and hope. Who would have thought the page could have become so inspiring? How wonderful! Splendid ideas, everyone! Great! Everyone looks super pumped up! Felsy, most of all! Are you seeing this, my son? Are you feeling inspired by this as well? I'm sure he is, Zarya. And this is still just the first page. That's right! Paimon can't wait to see the picture book when it's all finished! We should finish it as soon as possible and keep up the belief and hope in our hearts! Mm-hmm. I'm starting to look forward to it as well. So let's get the show on the road and head towards the Kingdom of Water Imps. Yay! Thalxy's fantastic adventures begin now! Princess Country. After some time, you arrive at the shore above the underwater kingdom of water imps. I think we're supposed to have seen her child by now. Maybe she's the one delusional. Oh. oh, hang on. Is that her what his wife? Yeah. What are you doing here, Madame Mello? Oh, it's you. I heard that no good husband of mine has a little spot around here, so I figured I'd drop by and check it up on him. But look what I found. Hmm. He actually keeps the photo with him. Uh, Uncle Rusher cares deeply about you, madam. We've had our suspicions on you, and Uncle Rusher was the sole voice of dissent. He alone assured us that you could never have committed a crime. We were wondering where he found the confidence to stand up for, to us. Probably used up every last ounce of masculinity he had with him. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't think he'd, he'd tell you that he lost your locket in Gamely. Uh, that's not true. He was merely too ashamed to tell the truth. Oh, that? I heard that story a long time ago, but I never believed it. Huh? My husband is many things. He may be timorous, somewhat cowardly, and a bit awkward, but he's also a sort of the earth individual. He could be bamboozled, but he's no gener degenerate gambler. I didn't call him out because I was waiting for him to tell me the truth on his own accord. Oh, how nice of you. If only we could find him right now. Shh. Look over there, 100% certain he's hiding in the box uh. hmm? it's an old habit of his whenever we got into a thief he'd go and hide in the nearest closet and it's a thing he thought i didn't know you want us to fetch him for you no need to inconvenience yourself let's see how long he can hold it all in there all right there's one other thing i could use your help with if you ever run into curve and agent tell charge please tell them the following i've tied it up 
a few of the rooms, so they're welcome here anytime. Of course, the house of Lombroso is also open to the two of you. But, you know, alright, we got met then. Okay, then we'll get out of your hair. Paimon does hope Uncle Rocha will come out soon. Have a nice day. Thank you, and best wishes to you too. May you find answers to all your questions. Here? Did I kill him? Ah oh, no, it was that box. Check on Talo charge. Maybe there is another quest so we can recover something, of course. Eyes. Nothing of his bone that fade. Was there another one? This is the second. I didn't see another one. These should be enough. I knew you'd have a knack for finding the best materials. We shouldn't need anything else to head to the Kingdom of Water Imps. And they vanish quite soon. Let's see if I didn't pass by anything. Just wasn't expecting something like that. Maybe there could be something next to where we first explored. And there was. Let me teleport there. I can teleport near close to the domain later. Come on, it's it is deep enough. Since the one was right in the middle. Uh, I think it could be one close to the area. We checked here as well. Yes. Okay. Describe shell one. Who fed on five toxis toxilis of his bones are coral made. There. And if I had to go somewhere else, there will probably be a third one. Whoa! Is that the entrance to the underwater ruins ahead? Uh, 
a sword in the water in kingdom the beautiful king of the water imps is at hand warriors together with the prince tuxi reclaim it from the monsters of it. Mm. Toxic badge. A golden penguin badge that shines in a metallic glow. It seems to give the bearer a staunch resolve to move forward. A precious reward that can be unlocked in the Toxic Fantastic Adventures event. Oh. Ah, okay. Ah, I don't have him assisting. Okay, how does that work? Regation Counter Strike. Use Prince Tuxi's War Imps Chainsome to defeat opponents more easily. After using its skill, Tuxi must charge up before being able to use it again. Okay, and it's always the same thing. I just get whoever I want. Um, stone High, some water, just that. Okay, let's get him. Um, who they get? What were the, can I see the rewards again? Uh, rewards. Okay, I don't think I'll get friendship with them. So uh, let's get you and you. No, that, that, and. Ah, let's bring you. I probably won't use you, but... Okay. Yeah, maybe I should have got another cryo, because... Uh, Novelite would be useless against slimes. Mm. So these are the underwater ruins that Fremenet found. They're pretty amazing, but still not exactly the kind that Paimon was imagining. This is the Kino Water Imps, Paimon. No ruins. Oh, yeah. Paimon knows. It's just... <sighs> Paimon thought we'd actually see a fairy tale world. Like with the Water Imps' colorful houses and the Rainbow Bridge. Oh. I'm sorry. I was hoping to put up some decorations, but ran out of time to do it by myself. It's okay. It's fantasy time now. Whoa, someone's already switched into fantasy mode. Seems like the travelers already got the gist of things. You should do your best too, Paimon. Uh, don't underestimate Paimon. Paimon can flip the switch too. Now entering. That was a new animation. Ahem. Young adventurers, tis Paimon, guardian goddess of this land. State your goals and intentions for visiting this nation. Uh... We are the companions of Prince Thalxi, your Divine Highness. We have come to help him reclaim the glory that he has lost. Oh, reclaiming your glory? Thy goddess here has golden glory, silver glory, and bronze glory. Which is it that the prince has lost? Huh? Uh... Did you break character, Paimon? Not at all! This is the goddess's test! <clears throat> From your responses, the goddess has concluded that you're all brave adventurers without the taint of greed in your hearts. As such, you are worthy of everyone's respect. So please accept the goddess's reward. The goddess will now bestow all three types of glory upon you. And as for this prince, the goddess will also bestow upon you the rainbow glory, so your future will always be filled with light. My gratitude to your Divine Highness for such generous blessings. 
power is now surging through every part of my body. Uh, me... Me too. Is this the divine inspiration of legend? All thanks to the power of Goddess Pymo. <laughs> Ahem. Now, adventurers, forge bravely ahead and defeat the monsters that have taken over the kingdom. You will be sure to find that which you seek. Yeah, yeah, already, already. Please be careful, brave adventurers. Just ahead are some evil enemies that have invaded the kingdom of Waterimps. They are called. I. Uh, oh, the Hilly Churls of the Deep. Get in gear. <laughs> Pair. Oh, okay, so far he's banging me. Those accursed enemies are back again. Your Highness, please show them what you're made of. Be sanctified. <laughs> A more, please. But cut, cheer, shit. Dead reckoning. Get in gear. Pair. So we're under attack again. It's a lava troll of the deep. There's no need to fear, my friends. His highness is so strong now that even a divinitor of the deep would pose no threat to him. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knights. Wind strike. Going on. Frost is coming. Pair. <sighs> it's finally over. So have we defeated the evil monsters and reclaimed the kingdom of water imps? Yes. It should now be time for us to attend Thuxi's coronation ceremony. The only thing is... I didn't expect this to go so smoothly. I thought it would have taken longer for us to reach the heart of the ruins. It was my mistake. I should have told Fremenay earlier that we would also need a crown. It's all because the Traveler and Goddess Paimon were too strong! We just eradicated all the monsters in one go! It's okay, Zuria. We can come back again once I've made the crown. Then I must thank all of you again for taking the time. And you too, Thalxi, my child. Thalxi's turning out to be a real expert at fighting! I don't think there's anything that will be able to stop him. He's like a true prince now. Yes, I agree as well. Let's head back to camp for now. I asked the Traveler to search for some materials on the way because I want to make the crown as soon as possible. We can add an update to Thuxi's fantastic adventures as well! Now that we've reclaimed the Kingdom of Water Imps, it's time for us to draw some new scenes in the picture book! Zuria and Fremenay, why don't we draw the new pages first? Paimon really wants to update the picture book. You just want to see someone draw Goddess Paimon. Hey, you didn't have to see it out loud. <laughs> no problem, I'm happy to oblige. Then in that case, the story today should go something like this. After overcoming many obstacles, Prince Thelxi and his brave companions finally arrived at the entrance to the Kingdom of Water Imps. At this time, the little fairy in the group, Paimon, revealed her true goddess form to her companions. Woohoo! The goddess has arrived! 
she praised the companions for their purity, and to reward them, she bestowed upon them many blessings, and even prayed that the prince would be able to fulfill his goal. Bathed under the goddess's glory, the prince and his companions charged into the bastion of evil, chased away the monsters, and rescued the pretty water imps from their imprisonment. The prince finally managed to reclaim his kingdom, but as for the crown... Oh no! The crown isn't ready yet! No. The crown was within the prince's reach, but the monsters took it with them as they fled. They haven't given up and are sure to return, but the prince is certain to reclaim the crown the next time they fight. The brilliant rainbow shall descend onto the kingdom once more. Oh, and Paimon can almost see it all happening now! Whoa, the pages are beautiful! Surya is really talented at drawing. Thank you, everyone. We've also completed the second page of the picture book now. Thelxie's journey is one step closer to its end and the promised coronation. My child, you'll also be able to brighten up when that time comes, right? I'm sure he will, Zuria. Who knows? Perhaps the doctor will already have some good news for you when you get back home today. I sure hope so, your Divine Highness. Oh, Fremine, about the time you'll need for the crown. Please don't worry. One day should be more than enough. Ah, then I must thank you for your hard work. All right, let's rendezvous here in another two days' time for our final adventure, okay? Sounds good to me. And see you in two days, my lovely friends. Yeah, I'll need to go to the city shortly to get some parts for the base of the crown. I want to try out a few different designs and choose the one that looks the best. Fremine is really dedicated. Fremine is working really hard. Yeah, Paimon knew that you didn't often take commissions from others, but Paimon had no idea you'd be so dedicated once you're on the job. Ah, uh, well, about that... It might be because... Uh, because what? It's because... I hope... Uh, what's the matter? Now what's with that look on your face? You're turning red! And it looks like you're about to run away and put your helmet on again! Uh, am I turning red? Don't taste frame in the pie, <laughs> We won't bother you anymore for today, Fremine. Let's see each other in two days' time. Okay. Thank you. See you in two days. Shouldn't be one more day. <sighs> I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful and experience a miracle for themselves. Oh, and there's more stuff here. Um, this is probably just the fighting there. Oh, okay. That was the thing that was missing. Here again, these blue dimensions behind us, label on the bottom containing the word destiny. Read 
Okay, Destry is the surname, so it could be the child's medicine. But I still think we should have seen the child by now. Yeah, despite those challenges, this story feels more like a feminine chapter than an event. Today's the final day of Thunksy's fantastic adventures! Let's go find Fremine at his camp! Hey, Fremine! Thunksy! We're here! Hello, Paimon. Hello, Traveler. Yes, we're just waiting for Zuria now. She hasn't arrived yet. Then let's wait for her a little while. Or actually, maybe we can go find her. It's not too far from here anyway. Didn't she say she just lives on the hill over there? Hey, Traveler, Paimon. Oh, oh and speaking of... Found you two at long last. Uh, I'm so glad that you both are all right. Yeah, it's been four days, huh? at least. Why are you here, Miss Delaroche? And what could have happened to us? What could have happened? That water imp Thelxie, of course. After I gave you that commission the other day, I began to get worried and went asking about the boy that went missing. Oh, that? We got it all figured out now. The boy you heard about was just Framine. Even the missing fish was his fault. Don't worry, we'll help you get the fish back as soon as we're done with this job. Oh, sorry about that. I've been diving in the area recently. Huh? What, Framine? Diving? No, 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 that's not what happened at all. I've heard a completely different account. What I was told is that about a month ago, a child tied a bunch of heavy seashells onto his body and walked into this open stretch of water. He never came back. Oh, that's What could conscious. that be if not that water imp's work? Uh, are, are, are you sure? 100% okay. sure. I've confirmed the account with several veteran fishermen I know. The child was only eight years old. His name was Lesko. Lesko Destray. Wait, Lesko Destray? Yeah, she's a delusional yeah, one. Yeah, that's the name. They say the family took on the name after moving to the city from a place called Stray. Anyway, his mother is a pretty famous art dealer, while his father passed away from an accident many years ago. Oh, well, naturally, his mother was devastated by the incident and fell terribly ill. It's said that she left the court of Fontaine, and no one knows where she's gone. It... it, it can't be, right? Lesko Destre? Zuria Destre? It, it, it must be some sort of a coincidence? Seems like we need to pay a visit to the Destre house. I'm sorry, miss. We've got to go check on something right now. Oh, I see. Well, you go on ahead. I just came to make sure that you're both all right. I'll head back then. Uh, please remember to take care. I thought you couldn't leave here. Okay, I thought she was just delusional about having a child. But now it took a darker turn. Yeah, she is taking a dark turn quite often recently. Didn't expect to have a dead child on the backstory. Who is this talking to? <laughs> oh, I even marked that. I think there's a quest there on the on the world map. So I avoided the place.
Yeah, I haven't checked that place yet as well. Oh, I was going to check the table. Who are you? Mm. I have a patient here who needs quiet bed rest. Please leave us be unless you have anything urgent to report. Who is the patient? The door opens after a brief moment of silence and then walks... This is the residence through. of Zuria Destri, and I am Jala Khan, her family doctor. What did you mean by your question just now? Who else could be my patient? Your patient should be Zuria's son, right? She told us herself that her son had contracted loneliness syndrome. No, you're right. Young Master Lascaux did have that illness once upon a time, but he's... Well, the young master's no longer with us. And now, the Madame has come down with the same illness. Are you... her friends, by any chance? You've heard the Rode 7 past few days between some breaks oh. of silence. So... When she had requested time to go out over the past few days, it was so she could spend them with you. So, if I'm understanding this right, the one who's suffering from uncontrollable delusions is the Madame herself? She believes her son is still alive? That is correct. When the young master disappeared, she was organizing an art exhibit that she had specifically prepared for him. But since she had to leave the house, she was unable to see her son one last time. That might have been the trigger for her regret. Or perhaps the family's fall into loneliness and grief was inevitable as soon as the old master passed away. First the son, and then the mother. So maybe it is but genetic. But how could that be? She really looked like she had a handle on everything. Her smile was so lovely, and she even told us to stay optimistic. But you're saying she... Those actions are proof that she can no longer differentiate between fantasy and reality. Then all the other things that she told us about her son, were those fake too? No, those were all real. Although... They were all things that happened before the young master left us for good. Madame's time has just never moved forward since his passing. I see. So after her son left, she created a fantasy world where her son was still with her. She was looking for a way to cure his illness when she ran into us. So how is Zaria now? She has been in a good mood the past few days, even humming a song when she returned from her stroll. She even began discussing with me the idea of using deliberate guidance to ease the illness. It was all going well, until last night. She spent a whole night staring at the shell the young master left behind, mm. and the words that he had inscribed onto it. Then she broke down once more. I prescribed some sedatives, and she's currently resting. But, but then what should we do? How can we help her? There has to be something we can do. Don't panic, Paimon. Even though this is a devastating piece of news, we must all calm down first. What should we do? I need to think. I need to remember the old house of the hearth. And the children who lived in it. Those patients. And what their doctors said back then. Hmm. Ah! Uh, what if... Dr. Jalakon, have you seen a picture book? The Madame should have brought it back with her. Hmm. Are you thinking about trying the guidance therapy she talked to me about before? Huh? It's worth a shot. I'll go get the book. The doctor quickly returns the book and... Yes! This is it. We still need to finish the adventure in the picture book. That's right. If what Dr. Jean Lacan said was true, the past few days have been very helpful to Zuria. So we should complete this journey. 
We need to show her that her child has found a happy ending in the world of her dreams. But... but wouldn't that just make it harder for her to accept reality? One must first face reality before accepting it. The Madame has been crushed by her feelings of grief and can no longer bring herself to face reality. Our first priority would be to get her out of this state. Right. Before today, I had thought she wanted to use Thelxie's fantastic adventures to save her son. But now, I think she might need it to save herself. And if we could complete it, we should be able to give her some feeling of inspiration and closure. Maybe those feelings would be enough to give her some courage to face reality again. We'll have to give it a There's try. There's no time to waste. Let's set off right away. The sea goddess hath rung is new. Ding dong, hark. No, I hear them. Ding dong, bell. The sea goddess. I didn't know about that. Nifander sleeps and has secretly smuggled away the crown that rightfully belongs to the priest Thelxi. Uh, warriors defeat the abnormal thieves and take back Thelxi's crown. Oh. Okay, that should be okay. And um, no, I won't take a bow. There's no need to take a bow. Everyone, please don't be so down and gloomy. Remember what she told us? If we were to feel troubled, the patient would become anxious as well. <sighs> You're right. Paimon needs to smile. If we have to give something to Zuria, it should be our smiles. We have to keep smiling as we finish this adventure. And then she'll be able to recover, right everyone? Yeah, I'm sure she will. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Watch out, everyone! They're coming at us again! There's no need to fear! Prince Thelxie looks stronger than ever today! He must be going all out! Silence! The tides beckon. Oh, this is the final enemy, right? <clears throat> we'll replace the crown for you now, your highness! Stabilize! Come on, okay. Fallen leaves adorn my knight! Going on! Bow your head. Stay cool and face your guilt. A moment, please. Rise! Come! Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. I, I have to go. I made a promise to my friends, and I'm already very late. But, Madame, you're still... Don't try to stop me. Today's the most important day for treating Thelxy. We'll use the guidance method. Didn't you also say that you'd think it'd work? I'm not trying to stop you, Madame. It's just... <sighs> Could you tell me the name of your child? Dr. Jalakan, how can you forget the name of your own patient? His name is Thalxi. He's the Prince of the Kingdom of Water Imps. We will go today to reclaim his crown and attend his coronation ceremony. I see. Madame, please rest assured, everything is still on schedule. Your friends have already departed to find... Wait, look. They've already returned. Paimon, everyone, have you really? Yes, but the coronation ceremony still hasn't taken place, because we felt like you should be the one to preside over it. Wonderful, how wonderful! Thalxi, my child, my child, are you hearing this? Everything you lost will now come back to you, and soon, very soon, you will never be lonely again. And the last page of the picture book. It's still waiting for you to illustrate in color. Right. The picture book. The picture book. But I don't know what I should put on the last page. Don't worry. Thilksy and his friends all know what should go on it. Get ready, Zuria. We'll describe everything for you. Okay. Okay. Ahem. At last! and his friends were able to drive off the final invading monsters and achieve a dashing victory! Their success was complete, and the recovered crown resplendent! The water imps, finally returning to their homes, showered the prince with love and applause as he greeted them. They once again offered their precious shells to the prince and reconstructed the rainbow bridge of old. As he watched the scene unfold, the prince could not help but be touched by its beauty. Moved by everyone's happiness, the prince stepped onto the Rainbow Bridge and took a good look at all the friends who had gone on the journey with him. There stood the Traveler, Goddess Paimon, Fremine, and... Huh? Where's the last person? The prince looked frantically around, but could not find the person he wanted to see most. At that moment, the person suddenly appeared on the other side of the bridge. She walked towards him with a smile and slowly lifted her veil. The prince could not hold back his tears. He recognized then that the mysterious person that had been by his side the whole time was none other than his mother. Surya walked across the bridge and placed the crown above the prince's head. She smiled down upon him as she said, My prince, my king, you shall never, ever need to feel lonely again. That's the end of the story, Surya. Thank you. Thank you all. I am so sorry, my child. Maman should have spent more time with you. Did you hear the story? You'll never have to feel lonely again. Mama loves you, too. Well, what's happening? Is Zuria talking to Thelxy? What is Thelxy saying? Quick, put on my diving helmet. There's a transcription module in it that's compatible with Thelxy's output signals. You should be able to use it to understand what Thelxy's saying. Premium walks up. 
to you and pulls out his diamond helmet before placing it on your head. I love you, Mama. So that's what Tex is saying. Mama, Mama loves you too. But I love you more, Mama. Wait, what is this? We are delusioning too? What? Did you see something? Mama, I'm getting a little sleepy. If it's time for bed, can you hum a lullaby to me again? Of course, my dearest child. As long as you want to hear it, Mama will always hum for you. Thank you, Mamon. Your lullaby has always been my favorite. Now that I've heard it, I can return to my dream and to the kingdom of water imps in peace. <sighs> my poor darling. Please don't forget. I will always love you. My love is greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. <laughs> I won't forget, Mamon. And so is my love for you. Greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. Good night, Mamon. Of what just happened. Three days later, a feminist came. Oh, what happened there? Why did the traveler see traveler, the ghost Paimon, of the boy? You're here. Fremine, why did you call us in such a hurry? Did you hear something from Zuria? Oh, if it's not good news, Paimon doesn't want to hear it. Don't worry, it's definitely great news. The madame came here for a visit just now with her doctor. Color has returned to her cheeks, and she sounded full of energy as well. She said she'd like to return to the court to continue hosting the art exhibit. But this time, she'll work with her doctor to exhibit some picture books related to the illness. Of course, Thelxie's fantastic adventures and the guidance therapy will be included in the exhibit as well. She'd like to use her experience to help others. That's wonderful! <sighs> so it wasn't bad news after all. Mm-hmm. Here, please take this picture book with you. The madame wanted you to have it. If at some point in the future, you were to run into someone with similar troubles, she hopes the book would be of use to you. Uh, but this is her son's story, right? Is it really okay to give the book to us? Don't worry, it's just a copy. She still has the original. It's extremely important to her. Alright, then there's no problem. <sighs> it feels good knowing we've contributed to something important. Paimon definitely didn't expect the fantasy adventure to be so useful. Paimon was a little worried about how everything would turn out. After all, fantasy is just fantasy. Paimon, do you know what the madame said? She said that at the moment when she placed the crown on Thelxie's head, she felt like she really saw something beautiful. Her child had returned. And he told her that he loved her. She also said that was when she was finally able to bid farewell to her son. She felt like at that moment, she was healed by some mystical power. And she was filled with courage from head to toe. Oh, really? But could that just be another part of her fantasy? 
Perhaps. But if fantasy is just fantasy, and the fantasy world is not real, then how could it still grant us these powers that we can continue to use in the real world? So, perhaps fantasy is not just fantasy after all? But, but what else could it be? A descent of the fairy tale world into the real world. At that time, the wondrous fairy tale temporarily became reality and influenced real things in our world. That has to be what happened. You saw it too, didn't you? But that can't be what happened, right? There's just no way. Wouldn't it be like a miracle if that really happened? Yes, I suppose that would be a miracle. I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful and experience a miracle for themselves. Ah. The children's fantasy book containing only three pages. It tells the story of a prince who overcomes loneliness. He reads for anyone in a tough spot in a small print on the back cover. didn't take that long uh, let me check if mm -hmm. just dreams okay I can't get him yet adventure is complete ah, I the background stat No, all they are unlocked. Just this one isn't. So let's see if if I can go to the end, then I'll complete them all today. Yeah, it's it's that uh, I didn't have to teleport. If it's just that I don't think it'll take too long. Components. No, I won't read all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he's facing there. In order, under two. You have 
have to go there. Oh. that oh no okay so you can't stay there yet it steps there it will go there so okay they're getting confusing Same, did I click the wrong button? No, that was just one. Trying it. That was the last one. Was that all the first, or that was that was everything? Okay, that's cool. All right, so next one. Uh, record search, open coin, shirts and glory. Okay.
I know how this works. I've seen a bunch of those. Oh, but hang on. Maybe there are more cautious I can if something written oh I should play with you They just said she returned to the court of Fontaine. They didn't say where she went to in there. I won't look for her throughout the whole city. was one of those fishes. I thought it was a conch. Just that I wonder now, what if I kill everything that appears along the way? But I don't think so. The, the third one was part of the story, actually, so I kind of doubt there will be more story after, more lore after the story. For an event like that. Huh? 
I thought there was another one. Okay, those are complete. Now, those. Six thousand. Ah, oh, he has different things to do. Ah, oh, great. Okay. Uh, okay, the important thing is two thousand. I'll try to go for six thousand, but I have no idea how hard that'll be. Um, is it good or bad to use? those trials I uh, actually have them both uh, um, I, I kind of like that lineup Let me see. <laughs> Another test subject. I will have order. Gather. As one with wind and cloud. Have a safe trip. Settle down. Be sanctified. Care for a dance. Another test subject. <laughs> Order guide you. Solidify. Clouds high. The birds call. Dance with me. Silence. Care for dance. The tides beckon. Catch this. You can't run. Dance with me. I will have order. The show's only Gather. just begun. Let's begin. Oh, change. Set. Another test subject. Let the mighty be humble. Another test subject. Don't be a killjoy. We've only just begun. As one with wind and cloud. Stay cool. Face your guilt. Order guide you. Quake! Bow your head. Care for a dance. Another test subject. Stabilize. A moment, please. <laughs> the tides beckon. <laughs> Care for a dance. Another job. <laughs> Let's begin. I will have order. Almost. Come on, that was pretty close. Let's go for the next ones. If if I can get through the others with six thousand, then I'll try here again. Uh, Mm, maybe the Shogun will be better than Kazuha here. Mm. Solidify! Wind strike! Shut Fallen leaves! Adorn my- Have a safe trip! Let the mighty be humble! This is order. Gather. A moment, please. Settle down. 
As one with wind and cloud. The tides beckon. Order guide you. Stabilize. This could get a little chilly. Wind strike. Silence. Let the mighty be humble. Clouds high. The birds call. Now, this is order. Gather. Stay cool. Face your kill. Be sanctified. I will have order. Stabilize. Wind strike. Let's begin. Settle down. As one with wind and cloud. It's get a little chilly. Again. Oh, good. I thought I barely got. Okay. Uh, they take too long to die. <laughs> no, I think I'm good the way I am. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's bring her just to keep shocking them while I'm watering them. Also, Kazuha burst is pretty good. Yeah, I probably shouldn't use her burst here. She isn't that well equipped. She would just waste time. Solidify! Let the mighty be humble! Order guide you. Gather. Change. There is no escape. Bow your head. The tides beckon. That's all we want. This is order. Stabilize. A move. Shine down. Settle down. Let the mighty be humble. You're coming. Where the eternal <laughs> oasis. Get a little chilly. I will have order. Gather. Illusion shattered. I'm dead. The tides beckon. Finally, some target practice. Silence! Stretch your wings and raise a storm! <clears throat> Let's begin. There is no escape! Stabilize! Where do you think you're going? Jump. Let the mighty be humble. Settle Your down. coming was foretold. Oh, thank you. And yeah, she's kind of why. Well, also she can switch between Neoma and Ozia. Hmm. That may that may be good. No no not her. I I can't really check her stats. Uh no yeah, it's probably better if the mine mine isn't 
level 80 yet. Mm. What does he have here? Uh, it's still going on back there. Uh, that's the thing. That just protects me. Um, that. Okay. Ah, oh, let's check her equipment. Ah, oh, that one. Okay, I got that one. I thought the other one's from Evan, so it makes sense that she wouldn't have that here. Oh, H? That I didn't know. And don't think I ever noticed. Uh... Solidify. <laughs> Another test subject. The other six twists. A moment, please. <laughs> Let the world collide. <laughs> <laughs> Shine down! This is order! Gather! This could get a little chilly. I don't know way now. Time to shine! I will have order! Rise! Okay. Damage, shall we? There's a lot of time with you. Illusion shattered! A moment, please. Strike a pose. <laughs> Have a safe trip. My way now. Let my name echo in song. Order guide you. There is no escape. Solidify. Shower me with praise. A moment, please. This could get a little chilly. This takes too long. I will have order. Let the world collide. <laughs> Illusion shatter. Gather. Yeah, that was bad. Um, previous one. Solidify! There is no escape! Stay cool. Face your cat! Bow your head. The ties beckon. This is order. Wait now. Get a little chilly. Order guide you. Gather. Illusion shattered. Let the mighty be humble. Have a 
never say true. Solidify. Settle down. Be sanctified. Get a little chilly. This is order. Stabilize. There is no escape. Silence. The tides beckon. Order guide you. Stay cool. Face your gift. Shine down. Solidify. Damn I forget to use that. Okay, I think I'm pretty close on most of them. I'm gonna try again. Gather! There is no escape! Have a safe trip! Let the mighty be humble! This is order. Solidify. Illusion shattered. A moment, please. Stay cool. Face your guilt. Be sanctified. Bow your head. I will have order. There is no escape. Let's begin. Let the mighty be humble. Have a safe trip. Order guide you. Stay cool and face your guilt. Stabilize. The tides beckon. This is order. Damn it. It's almost there. Settle down. Ah, so close. And it should be a little bit faster. Just a tiny bit. There is no escape. Ah, get a little chilly. Bow your head. Let the mighty be humble. I will have order. Solidify. On way now. The tides beckon. Stay cool. Face your guilt. This is order. Gather. Let the mighty be humble. Yeah. Hmm. 
that. Shine down. Torn to no, oblivion. You. I will have order. Solidify. Settle down. <laughs> Be sanctified. This is order. Have a safe trip. Silence. Just there. Blindsided. Let the mighty be humble. Oh. Wow, now I got a lot. I will have order. Now it's easy. Let's begin. All oh, right. Let's get back to the first one. <laughs> Try to get 6,000 on them all. And that will be my lineup. Stabilize. Illusion shattered. Stay cool. Face your enemy. The tide is beckoning. Bow your head. Can't run. I'm getting sick of this game. Not bad. Damage. Change. Solidify. Settle down. Care for a dance? Be sanctified. Dance with me. Care for a dance? It's get a little chilly. Gather. There is no escape. I will have order. Bow your head. Dance with me! Let the mighty be humbled! Well met! Settle down! Stay cool and face your guilt! Don't away now! Order guide you! Solidify! Care for a dance. The tides beckon. Dance with me. Care for a dance. <clears throat> I will dance have order. Gather. Okay. Your the show's only. Be sanctified. Have a safe trip. Order guide you. Not done yet. All right. Stabilize. Shine down. Stay cool. Face your The tides beckon. I will have order. Illusion shattered. Settle down. Mm. New punch lucky today. Order guide you. Have a safe trip. Be sanctified. Mm. Your coming was for a moment, please. 
I will have order. Shine down. The tide's beckoning. Don't be left away. Found this one. Fine. Some target practice. Well, now it's to get a little chilly. Solidify! There is no escape! Let the mighty be humble! Embrace a storm! Where do you think you're going? Silence! This is order! Damage. They don't die. Gather! Shine down! Bow your head! Damn, they don't die. I don't think I'll be able to get this one. Where do you think you're going? Let me select another one. This one? Yeah, but this one had a different team here. So I'm not sure how well I'll fare now. Illusion shattered. Well, stay cool. Another face your people. Settle down. Be sanctified. A moment, please. Order guide you. Gather. Have a safe trip. The tides beckon. Shine down. Inazuma shines eternal. I will have order. Solidify. Let's begin. Stabilize. Order guide you. There is no escape. Let the mighty be humbled. Stay cool. Face your gift. A moment. This is order. Gather. Bow your head. <laughs> the tide is never get subject. <laughs> I will have order. My way now. Illusion shattered. Settle down. Have a safe trip. Yes, I don't think I'll do it. Okay. Be sanctified. But alright. Just the one. Okay, just the one. I gotta try again. But this one seemed pretty hard. And I even got the real win to get them all together. The problem is those girls, they take too long to die. They have too much health. I'll focus on their beasts. Maybe if I defeat the beast, their health drops quicker or... Stabilize. Stay Following cool. order. Your Maybe they're the tanks. Get weaker. Ah, no. No? P? No. Oh, okay. Ask. Alright, let's try again. Uh, use that skill right at the beginning. 
because somewhere far away. Solidify. Shine down. Following on. your head. Be sanctified. Hmm. Have a same trick. Order guide you. Gather. Where you Take that. Hmm. The time is beckoning. You hmm. That's following us. Silence. Am I on the right one? I will have order. There is no escape. Let the mighty be humble. That's your coming was for us. Let's get a little chilly. Let's begin. Crumble! I'm getting sick of this game. Stabilize! This is order! The tides beckon. Come on! <clears throat> Target practice. Solidified. Illusion shattered. Order guide you. Be sanctified. Where do you think you're going? Silence. Alright, uh, let me see. I was on the right one. Yeah. This thing took way too long for the line the enemy lineup to change didn't it there were like four or five waves of regular guys uh, but it's close Shine down. That's all we want. Bow your head today. The tides beckon. Ah, feeling lucky today. Mm. <laughs> Stay cool now. Face your guilt. Settle That's down. This is order. Let's begin. Be sanctified. That's Following order. Not feeling lucky today? Hmm. Solidify. There is no escape. The tides beckon. I'm getting sick of the second. I will have order. Stabilize. Illusion shattered. A moment. Silence. Found as one. <laughs> <laughs> Be sanctified. Spread your wings and raise a storm! Gather! There is no escape! Bow your head. Where do you think you're going? This is order.
Come on. Ah. Should have been Kazo, huh? Mm, let's try one more time like that. Illusion shattered. That's fine. I will have order. Silence. Hmm. Stay cool. Face your guilt. The tide's beckoning. Hmm. That's close enough. Settle down. Let's begin. Yeah. Be sanctified. That's following up. This is order. Solidify. Shine down. Silence. Off the jungle. Try to keep up. Get a little chilly. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, fuck. You have found your head. The tides beckon. Where the eternal huh. oasis. I'm getting. I will have order. Stabilize. Illusion shattered. Silence. Bound as one, like a ninety-nine. Let the mighty be humble. You Fine. are not welcome. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> this is order. What do you think Have you're going to Yeah, no, let's swap. <sighs> but I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'll be able to get them as well. It's just that it's the only one missing. If it was the last one, okay, the last one is supposed to be harder, but no, this is right in the middle. Solidify! That's all we want. Order and guide you. Stay cool. Face your guilt. Silence. That's all we want. Clouds high. The birds. The tides beckon. A moment, please. That's falling out. This is order today. Bow your head. That's falling out. Let the mighty be humbled. Of the jungle. Order guide you. This thing too long already. This could get a little chilly. Settle down. Fine, this no, thing no, doesn't no, work no, when they're no, far no, away. Time to go. As one with wind and cloud. Nah, nah, this one won't. Uh, let's keep the Shogun and change. Wesley. <sighs> Stabilize. There is no escape. That's all we want. 
The tides beckon. I will have order. Gather. Fog the jungle. No, I'm fallen leaves. Adorn my knight. Found your hurt. Let the mighty be humbled. That's close enough. Where do you think this you're... is order? Stabilize. Silence. Your coming was foretold. As one with wind and cloud, shine down. Bow your head. Be sanctified. I will have order. Solidify. Settle down. You are not welcome. Some target practice. <laughs> there is no escape. The time's beckon. Spread your wings and raise a storm. <laughs> Gather. Where do you think this you're... is order? <laughs> Clouds high. The bird. Again. Can I? Can I buff them with foods? I can. I never use that. Why don't I ever use that? Uh. 300 seconds, that's enough. Attack. Same thing. Oh, and there's also the. I don't have the Adeptus food. Oh no. Uh, yeah. There's also that crit rage. Stabilize! Illusion shattered! Let the mighty be humble! Lucky today! Fallen leaves! Adorn my knights! Wind strike! Silence! Hmm! I will have orders. A waste of time. Gather. Bow your head. Following orders. Feeling lucky today. Be sanctified. That's close enough. Wind strike. As one with wind and cloud. This is order. There is no escape. Settle down. Let the mighty be humble. Bow your head. That's you are not welcome. Order guide you. Solidify. Now you shall no. perish. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knight. The tides beckon. Spread your wings and wreck. Oh, there. Yeah. Some buff. I will help. have order. Gather. Where's the eternal? I'm getting sick of this game. Let the mighty be humble. All right.
that. Everything done. I never eat food that that is in for health. I forget it is exists. Okay, no. Just trade the tokens. Uh, yeah. Everything done. Great. Everything done. Great. Great. A free frame in it. Uh. <laughs> Prince lives in the Zur Depths, who steps forth to lend aid to those in trouble. Come on, that must mean something. Dash. Ah, single dash is a thing. T. Dot dot dash. T F. Dot 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 dash. V. Hang on, let me open a text. T. F. V. Dash dash M T F V M that's the first line dot 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 S dot dot dash dot F dot dash dash W uh dot 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 dash dot F again. Da 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 S S F W F S. It doesn't. Okay, now this look. This is matching Morse code, but random letters. And the last one is dash dot A. Finally, I've all uh, dot dash 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 uh, dot dash 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 J dot 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 S dash dot 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 B dash dot dot D dash dash Two dashes. Two dashes. M. Dot dot dash dot F. And the last line is A J S B D M F. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that was supposed to be. Uh. Is it different Chinese Morse code? Maybe it was supposed to be something and they just didn't translate. All right, now I got a permanent. Uh, oh, I got some, um, but I don't want to spend that unless. One. And it's still gotta play with the others. And that's fair. 
uh, his weapon and hang on was good for him uh, physical ah, cryo plus physical so one or the other I can choose maybe uh, yeah I have to check afterwards which one would be better for him but the clockwork kind of fits yes yeah, especially the upgraded one yeah okay but not so much no really well <laughs> this a bit mm, just the scholars a bit but yeah I don't think any fits better than this one let's leave it with it for now and this HP yeah there'll probably be a better one for him all right just uh, oh, there's that to do for heading out is two issues okay but uh, I still don't have a sign of no all right and I'm out